Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. In the previous video, we have seen about the difference between column count and also the column width and the shorthand notation that is nothing but the columns property also we have seen it. Now there are also some more other properties, CSS properties available in the column multi-column layout. Let's try to see it one by one. For example here, so we are able to show the four column layout here. I want to add a vertical border for each column so i need to separate each column with a vertical border so for that one so we have a css property available that is nothing but a column hyphen <clears throat> so here you'll be able to see rule column hyphen rule and this column hyphen rule just like how the border will take the same thing it will take one pixel solid red i can give it so this is like this so same how the border will take the same thing it will take like that only now if you try to see here we are able to successfully show this one and we are having some gap here right because of the text alignment we are able to get it for example if i make it as an text align justify justify let's right? see how it will appear let's see so text align justify if we show, see here now see the content has been equally spread so now we are able to see a vertical border between this one now so fine so we are able to get this one so this column rule is the shorthand notation for the column prop column rule property so column rule hyphen star so instead of having this one you can also elaborate that one using column hyphen rule hyphen so first one is the style you can take it so style means you can have dash dotted double grew hidden so whatever thing so i let's take it double line and you can also have column hyphen rule hyphen width so how much width you want so you can take it as a one pixel two pixel or anything and the last one is the column hyphen rule hyphen so that one you will be having the color so what is the color you want i will take the red color so these are the three properties and these three pop properties you can use a shorthand notation that is nothing but previously how we have used it now also we are able to see the same output so if i try to see if i try to show it as a dashed thing so then you'll be able to see a dash line here see the dash line we are able to see it so this is about the column rule so now the shorthand notation for this one is we have already seen right column hyphen rule one pixel solid red color so if you want you can also give dash color also you can give it and i can remove this one all so this is the shorthand notation if i try to see here so now if i refresh this page i didn't save it i think i saved it okay dash only right i have given so this is about the column rule so now we are able to add a vertical line between this one so if i try to uh, minify or magnify so we are able to get that that column uh, <coughs> rule is also expanding according to the content so fine so we are able to get this output now my rec another requirement is the gap or otherwise the margin between these columns is very much less the default margin how much margin the, the default gap how much gap you will be having is that is nothing but in one em okay that is a one em you will be having now if i want to increase the gap between these two things means so i can have an another one that is nothing but a column hyphen gap you can give it as in two em so i can give it as in two em now if you see here see the gap has been increased between the columns so if you try to give something around three em now the gap will be too much increased see here we are able to see a too much gap so the column gap property what it will try to do it will try to give the gap between the uh, gap 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 between the two columns so all the columns it will give the gap so fine so now we are able to see the output so fine we are able to see the output so fine it's looking nice now what i want to do is i want to show some text in middle of this one so the text should be common to all the co columns I need to show some heading something like the text so how can i show that one let's try to see so here we are having these all the columns right in between this one we are having some block code okay so i am having some block code here i can show some block code and this is the block code okay text shown in the middle or shown across the columns i need to show across the columns 
so now if i try to see the output for this one if i try to see the output if we see the output so this one block code will come as a part of the columns only so here we are able to see as a part of the column i should not show this one only to the particular column i need to see i need to show this block code block code across the columns okay across the column it should be there so for that one what i can do is so this is a block code right i can take this block code and here for the block code so we can write column span okay it should be column span and here it will be having property that is nothing but an all so it will be having only one property all now if you try to see the output see now this block code is expanded across all the columns now i want to make it as a center okay i can make it as a center and i can increase the font weight for this one and i i can increase the font size for this one 2em let's try to see the output see here i can show this content across the first column so if i try to show you the same thing if i try to show you the same thing let's see the same thing output see how it is looking so that call span will be across the columns if across the columns this data will be spread across the columns now if i that content will be divided like this so now here this block code is in the between in the middle so like this we can also span the particular content across the columns also so these are the uh, so these are the properties that are available in the multi column layout so what are the properties that we have learned let's revise, revise it so before closing this multi column layout so we have learned about the multi column hyphen count okay and we have learned about the column hyphen gap and we have learned about the column hyphen rule so this is a short notation and we have learned about this column hyphen span so column hyphen width also we have learned it so these are the different types of properties that are available in the multi column layout so we have also another property that is nothing but a column hyphen fill so this fill means it will try to have balanced and auto thing so you can check that one also column hyphen fill so if you are having a article with a fixed size fixed height means then that column fill will be used so these are all about the different types of multi column layout available in the uh, these are uh, uh, available in the multi column layout these are all the column count pro column properties hope you understood about these column properties so if, so these are all the column properties so let's try to i will try to show you this uh, column fill also then we can close this column thing column count i will try to show you that column thing also then we can close these all things let's assume that i am having another one div so here i will try to do um, what is that one fill fill column right fill let's i i will add a class with a fill and here i am having a paragraph so lower i will give so i am expanding this one so this is the fill thing now if you try to see the output so here we are able to have this all the content right let's try to comment out this one also so that we will be able to see i am commenting out yeah so this is all the content now let's try to split these all the content so in the columns so here i will be adding dot fill so here i will be having column hyphen count is four so column hyphen count is four now if you see the output so it is divided the count the data is divided across the four columns now what i want to do so for this fill okay for this fill i have given a height height of around 400 pixel so i have given a height of around 400 pixel so now if i try to give an height of around 400 pixel so what could be the height of this one let's try to see so this is the thing right and this is the height we are having <clears throat> okay so this is the height we have given it now here we are having this call the content and also we have given a height of something around 300 pixel let's assume so it's too much big right if you see the output here we are able to see the content it is spread account right but the height we have given it is that is nothing but what i can say the height we have given is this height is around 300 pixel we have given around 300 pixel but the total 300 pixel it is not making use of the total height actually so what is that uh, having here here the column fill property automatically you will be having a balanced thing if i try to show you the column fill so the initial value for this one column fill you are having a balanced thing okay so column fill you are having a balanced thing so first what i want is 
so the height of this fill i for the height of this fill is total it is around 200 pixel or 300 pixel let's assume let's make it as simple and i will give you a background color light yellow or light blue okay if you see here the total height of this one is around 200 pixel but it is not utilizing the complete height what i want to do is the each column has to maximum utilize this complete height after this when this height is completely filled up then it needs to go to the second column like this it needs to have so then what we can do is in this one here i can use column hyphen fill i can do the auto okay if i do this auto then automatically see now the column has been completely filled up to the particular height up to the particular height and then only it will try it is trying to access it now you don't want it like this i want to have the balanced thing so all the columns should be balanced to each other means then i can use here balance so i can use this one balance then automatically all the four columns will be balanced to each other so it will not take the height into consideration if you want to take the total height if it want to take into consider means then you need to use column fill auto or otherwise you can use the column fill balance so that is the column fill property about that one so this is all about the column count multi-column layout properties available column count column gap these all things hope you understood about these column properties if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you